coming back with a birthday mail day recap video first video of 2024 for the channel uh, yesterday I did an impromptu live stream aka watch along aka die along of the Bucks Eagles game so I do want to give a big thank you to Big Sky 35 and also Mike O for joining the stream and also to everyone that was interacting in the chat. Special shout out to Andy. She blinded me with refractors. And Carlos, I think they were pretty much watching along from the start. And that stream was three hours. So appreciate you fellas going through the therapy session. But I will say, if you watch my last couple videos, uh, the outcome was very much expected. It was not a surprise. The Eagles definitely checked out after the Cardinals game, and it was not a surprise whatsoever. So the collapse was complete, and I'm hoping they got the coaching staff, Nick Sirianni, Brian Johnson, Matt Patricia, all those three guys need to go, specifically <laughs> really Brian Johnson and Patricia, but we'll see what the Eagles do. They have a lot of work to do, and it's looking like the NFC East is the worst division in football, so who would have known? But let's get on to the mail day. So we got some pretty cool slabs. There's a little bit of variety here as per normal. Uh, the first card here, got some Dragon Ball Z Funko Pops in the back, the Ginyu Force. Uh, but we're going to be showing off a TCG uh, Dragon Ball Z card. This is from 2019 Dragon Ball S, Dragon Ball Super. This is one of the Volume 7 foils in a PSA 10 of Napa. So this was just a really, really cheap pickup. Was able to get this for 20 bucks. And want to pick up a couple key characters from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, their character cards. Specifically the villains from the early sagas, from the Saiyan Saga, from the Namek Saga, and the Frieza Saga. So, going to maybe try to get some of the villain cards. I know I have a couple ones of the Ginyu Force, but want to try to get some of the Saiyan characters like Nappa, Raditz, maybe Bardock. So, there's that one. Next is a card that I want to give a shout out to uh, Joe for Soft Corners. He showed this, car, this card off raw on his channel. And it really piqued my interest to potentially add this card into the collection. I found one up on eBay in a PSA 10. It was uh, $35 or best offer. was able to get it for $28. So with shipping, it came to $30. Uh, shipping and taxes, like around like $31. But this is from 2023 Top Star Wars. This is the Throwback Thursday PSA Gem Min 10 of Grogu. So just love the the retro tops football design there, uh, especially with the green background. I think it complements Grogu for obvious reasons, but also like the photo that they picked of Grogu. So you can see there, it's a set of 12 cards from the 1958 Topps football set. So one or two add that one into the collection, the Gem Minty Grogu. Speaking of Star Wars, picked up a couple more 2023 Topps Finest Daedra Mira cards. So we got the green here numbered out of 99. And we also have the gold, which I definitely have to get out of this top loader because there's a lot of it's a bad top loader, but the gold is numbered out of 50. Was messed up yesterday. The orange out of 25 actually sold on, I think it was DC Sports Cards, and it sold during the Eagles game, and I forgot the bid on it. 
So we'll have to try to find the orange eventually. And this is from the expanded base set. So these are kind of short prints of Deidre Mira. So added those into the collection. I'll throw them in the Z folio. Uh, found this on eBay. This was stupid cheap. I think this was like $13 shipped. Uh, this is from 2014 uh, Tops Tribute. Uh, this is Tribute to the Past, uh, numbered out of 99. Clean autograph here of Lee Smith, Hall of Famer. So to add a Hall of Fame on-card autograph with a really nice photography there, nice shine for under 15 bucks, that's just a no-brainer in my opinion. So that might be more of a focus in 2024 if I could just find like really, really cheap from really nice products, Hall of Famers, I just might stockpile a little bit of them. I mean, you really can't it's it's less than a than a price of a blaster and I love collecting autographs and it's, it's cool to add Hall of Fame autographs into the collection especially for those prices next was another value buy I'm sure if this guy was in the Hall of Fame it would be a lot more he should be in the Hall of Fame but he's not because he's a polarizing person this is from 1998 UD3 this is a die cut PSA Gem Mint 10 Got this for $30 shipped. This is of Kurt Schilling. So cool late 90s die cut. As you can see, these are numbered out of a thousand. Numbered there at the top. But was able to, uh, to add this into the collection in the PSA 10 for right around 30 bucks, so thought that was a really nice deal and these are relatively affordable uh, and there's a lot of great names in this set so added that into the collection and the last card here this randomly popped up uh, into my suggested now I was looking at some wrestling uh, autographs and this popped up and it was $40 by an hour best offer and I sent an offer for around $27, and the shipping was free, and the seller accepted it. So I was kind of surprised that the seller accepted this. Maybe it's because it's not a gem mint, but this is a PSA Mint 9 from 2020 Tops WWE Finest. This is a green refractor numbered out of 99 of Rhea Ripley. So I was really surprised that the seller accepted the offer. I think I did like almost 40 percent 30 35 40 percent off asking price but the uh the seller wanted to move it so i'll take it got it for a nice price nice shine on this card cool photograph so i'm sure a lot of people did not expect to see a wrestling card in my first video for 2024 but there it is so we got some hall of famers Star Wars, Grogu, Dragon Ball Z, Phillies, and wrestling to start 2024. So looking forward to seeing what the yes rest of the year brings collecting-wise. Hope everyone out there is doing well. And good luck to your teams if they're still in the playoffs. I know some of you Lions guys are definitely at a fever pitch. Let's see how you guys do against the Bucks. And we'll see what happens next week in the Battle of the Pop Stars between the Chiefs and the Bills. Taylor Swift versus Haley Steinfeld. Let's see what happens. Battle of the Pop Stars. Get your bets in, fellas. Peace.